Hi, this is Jeremy Morris with another word from the good book. Today is December 28th, 2022, just a few days after Christmas. I hope you all had a good Christmas. And now let's go into this word from the good book. Today's message is the chosen few. And the scripture from the Bible says, Matthew twenty two fourteen. For many are called, but few are chosen. And then it says something really interesting. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Do you want to be first place? The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. So that'll stop you from pushing your way to the front of the line, won't it? Think about that one for a while. But notice this interesting phrase that Jesus says in Matthew 22, 14. He says, for many are called, but few are chosen. So God is calling all of us. Many are called. He's saying, come to me. The Lord's out there calling and calling, saying, come to me, come to me, come to me. But what happens? Not everybody responds. And the Bible says that only a few are chosen. The chosen ones are those who are listening and they hear the call and they respond and they come and they come to the Lord. Are you listening? Are you hearing the call? Are you responding? Look what it says here. John 15, 16, he says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And when we listen and we respond to the call, we become chosen. We become the chosen few. The interesting thing in life is that the popular way is the wrong way. The road most traveled is the wrong road. The road less traveled is the right road. This is a sobering truth, but let's, let's read about it in the scripture, what it says, very sobering. Matthew seven thirteen says, enter in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many that go in that way. And then it says in Matthew seven fourteen, straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads to eternal life. And there are only a few that find it. If you want to become one of the chosen few, are you listening? Are you responding? Would you say a prayer with me? Salvation is available to everyone, but we must respond. Would you say a prayer with me? It's very simple. It's not hard to do. Just repeat this with me. Say these simple words. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I turn away from sin. I receive your gift of eternal life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and keep me with you forever. Thank you for saving me. Amen.